Hey folks, Smewer here. Today we've got some piping hot drama between two of the internet's biggest creators, Gideon and Sneeko. Now for those not up to speed, here's a quick recap. Gideon is a heavyweight in the YouTube game with an enormous following. Sneeko, on the other hand, is the new kid on the block. But despite his rookie status, he's shown he's not afraid to stir up some controversy. In recent weeks, Sneeko has been relentless in trying to get Gideon to debate him on Islam versus Christianity. High stakes stuff. But Gideon wasn't having any of it. He straight up blocked Sneeko, shutting down the debate quicker than your grandma can yell bingo. Yikes. As you can see in that clip, things got heated. Gideon accused Sneeko of chasing clout and needing to get his priorities in order. Sneeko fired back calling Gideon weird for avoiding the debate and doubting his own faith. Shots fired. Hey Gideon, how you doing man? I was just watching the stream, how you doing? It's, uh, this it's actually is Sneeko. It's the Sabbath man, what's up Sneeko? What's going on, how you been? Uh, I like the streams man. I, yeah, we, don't need, we don't talk as much anymore man, I miss you. But I had to block you man. What did I do? Bro, you were on my phone. I literally... Here, hold up. If you don't mind, can I read the um the text message? You know, I don't want to put it of out there. You can. Oh. I didn't even know you blocked me. Oh, I, I told you I was going to block you if you didn't stop doing what you were doing. What Let's... did I do? Uh... Wow, yo, Gideon blocked me, chat. Let's see. Oh, actually, did I? I might have not blocked you. No, I did. It says okay. unblock. But, but you you blocked me? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, because you kept on pushing for the uh, she Ottman thing, and I said no. And let's see. You said okay, she Ottman versus Josh on the Bible locked. Lying is a sin, and I said, "Where's the lie?" If he backs out, and I was like, "How?" How is that a lie? If he backs out, he's a liar. And I said, Sneeko, you act very childish. If this continues, I'm going to have to rethink my friendship with you. And you were like, lol, bro. And I was like, I'm for real. You be, you be very pushy too much in agitating people. The last people you're supposed to do this to is your friends. Really, you're not supposed to do this to anyone. Then you sent me the Kevin Hart meme. And then you texted me again and said, Bible debate. And I said, no. And I said, can you not read? Okay, what are you agitated about? If someone says no about something and you keep on pushing the person on the same thing, is that not agitating them? Is that not provoking you said them? No. You said no to the debate? Yes. Oh, why? Bye, Sneaker. I, I, <laughs> I literally... I don't know. Anyway. And the online world exploded. Comments came flooding in from all sides. Some backed Gideon for standing his ground. Others sided with Sneeko, saying Gideon was scared his religion would lose the debate. But most people were just confused trying to make sense of it all. Is Gideon losing it? Is Sneeko just desperate for attention? No one really knows. What we do know is this, the audience is split. You've got the pro Gideon camp chanting Common Dion W, while Sneeko's fans are reveling in his W and claiming Gideon took another L. So what happens next? Will Sneeko continue his debate crusade, or will Gideon have the last laugh? I don't have a crystal ball, folks, but I can tell you this. Grab some snacks and buckle up. With these two, there's guaranteed to be fireworks. For now, that wraps up this drama report. Let me know your takes in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the continuing beef between Gideon and Sneeko. This has been your boy Smewer. Thanks for watching.